about Jose Luis Castillo. What a great lightweight this man was. What a great career. And of course, a former champion. Beat Stevie Johnson for the crown. Lost it to Roger Mayweather. And he's in against a guy who is facing his toughest fight and his biggest opportunity in one Gustavo Corral. You've sparred with Corral, haven't you? Or been in the ring with him? Yes, a I, I sparred him a couple of rounds. Just one time before he fought uh, Richard Sierra. And uh, he's, a, he's a good fighter. He's, uh, he has a little bit of pop in his punch. Now this is Jose Luis Castillo. Very calm of uh, stature and face. Big man, very powerful. Former WBC weight champion. He had three defenses of the crown. Beat Stevie Johnston in the heat up in Las Vegas. To his credit, uh, Fernando, uh, Johnston complained about the weather and, and Castillo said, come on, we'll fight again. And he did and beat him again. And then he takes on Roger Mayweather, who might be as tough a guy to find in the ring after the introductions as anybody you'll ever see. Well, officially he didn't win the fight, although in the eyes of most people he did in fact win, but the judges say he didn't, so he didn't. Well, he is in now against Corral, who obviously is going to be the shorter, the more inexperienced, and one would assume the less talented of the two men. I mean, if, you, if you see that uh, red band that he has, that's, he used to be part of uh, Julio Cesar Chavez Amen. Assemble. That's right, JC Superstar. He was a uh, long time as a sparring partner yep. for him, wasn't he? First time that he, they wore that red band was against Milvick Taylor, going up against the Milvick Taylor fight. We talked with him, and uh, he hasn't fought since the, the last loss, and that would be to Mayweather. And there's Corral getting ready, facing the biggest uh, fight of his career, young man who uh, comes into the fight out of uh, Sonora, Mexico. In fact, both men are from Sonora, Mexico, originally, aren't they? Right, Guatabampo, and the other one from, now from Empalme. Well, I don't know how this is going to go. I know that Castillo's a heavy favorite, but we'll see what we will see. Pat Russell is the man in charge of the activities once they get started. And to introduce the fighters, Lupe Contreras. Live from the Arrowhead Pond of Anaheim, Bob Arum, Top Rank Incorporated. In association with the Arrowhead Pond of Anaheim and Big Cal Mind Sports present Fight Night Live. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Scheduled for 10 rounds of boxing in the super lightweight division. The judges are David Jenkins, Lou Filippo, and Fritz Werner. The referee is Pat Russell. And now, ladies and gentlemen, once again, we find out quién es el más macho. In the red corner, he steps in wearing black trunks trimmed in gold and weighing in at an official 142 pounds. As a pro, he maintains a record of 12 victories, along with four defeats, three draws, seven of his victories coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of Guatabampo, Sonora, Mexico, Gustavo Davido Corra! His opponent across the ring in the blue corner steps in wearing red trunks trimmed in white and blue and weighing in at 147 pounds. As a professional, maintains an impressive record of 46 victories, along with six defeats, one draw, 42 of his victories coming by way of knockout. He is the former WBC lightweight champion of the world. From Infalme, Sonora, Mexico, Jose Luis, El Delible, The very fine referee, Pat Russell, will officiate this uh, main event tonight. You can see that uh, Corral is shorter. He'll have a shorter reach, and he is in very tough against a very fine former champion. Here's how they shape up. Castillo's 29, Corral the same. 5'7", five, 5'8". Five, well, Castillo's got at least three inches on him. 147 to 142. The poundage is off a little bit, and in the reach department, Castillo with a reach of 70 to 69. The rules governing fights here in California, three knockdown rule not in effect, no standing eight count. Saved by the bell in the last round only, the referee or the doctor can stop the fight. If there's an accidental foul, headbutt, etc., duly noted, they'll go to the scorecard after the start of the fourth. Scheduled for 10, Pat Russell's ready, and here are the two welterweights as they come out. We uh, talked with Castillo yesterday, and of course, uh, I would imagine Carlos Hernandez and Fernando Parmo, there's nothing worse than the announcer saying former 
FUBC <laughs> lightweight champion. Which means, I guess, guys, that he's pretty much through with the lightweight division, isn't he? He might be. Yeah, but you know he still has a name, name recognition. Oh, that's what, big time! Yeah, that's what keeps him on uh, on the top of the charts with the possibility of a fight. Yeah, and he's only 29, and he told us that financially he's all right. Thank you, thank God. And he's uh, not like Bill Gates, he said. That's right. <laughs> I'm not like Bill Gates. He's a Mexican Bill Gates. He said, "Let me in on that. I got to practice Spanish because Jose let me in on that." And this talk, of course, where would he go? Well, he'd like to fight, I think, uh, get a victory here tonight, and then go on and post another one or so. He'd be a very viable, viable guy for somebody like uh, maybe Gotti at 140 pounds, huh? Great fight. Oh, yeah. Costa Zoo, or maybe uh, Sean Bay Mitchell or somebody like that. Well, it's a guy that has never been down. So, uh, you, you know, you can tell that he has a tremendous uh, chin. I guess a guy like in the case of Corral that uh, has been knocked out. Yeah. And just a lot of weight difference. Size where oh. I think the tape light a bit. Well, let me tell you that uh, I'm going to tell you right now that as Castillo stands here in that ring, he's very close to 150, 557 pounds. And Corral can't be much more if he's 142 or 45 pounds. He's got to be a 10 to 15 pound advantage for Castillo. Well, I think what... what uh, what Gustavo has to do right now is just uh, outbox him, try to use his, his speed, and go to the body. It, does, it doesn't look like uh, Castillo's been working the, the, the abs. No, no, I don't think he has. He hasn't really been in the ring as a fighter. Uh, two fights since the Mayweather lost the second one. Which, uh, while well, the first one was uh, a very tough loss for him to, you know, swallow. He actually thought there's been a lot of ringsiders that he'd beaten Mayweather. The second fight, Mayweather was just way too much, and uh, Castillo couldn't even find it. But, you know, if he's in there, over 150 pounds, I know he's not hot on buff. But he looks pretty good, doesn't he? Oh, yeah, because of the size. Yeah. I think he's close to 5, how much he listed? 5, 8, I think he's 5, 10. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's a very big Walter Wade, and he's got a punch. He's got 40, 46 wins and 42 knockouts. So this guy can hurt you. The one thing in Corral's favor at the beginning of five is that he's known to be a slow starter. You mean Castillo? Castillo. Well, the crowd kind of getting on him. I think that uh, Corral is hopeful that, uh, that Castillo doesn't get excited and get hit and then just knock him out of here. At any rate, you can see the handful of seconds remain in this first round. Corral is in not only a tough part, the biggest of his career and what a tough one to be to win. There's the bell coming up to end round one. Does your family have a disaster plan in the event of a major emergency? Do you have a survival kit of essential items in your home? The preparations you make now could mean the difference between life or death in a crisis. That's why CBS2 and KCAL Online are teaming up to help you be safe at home. Watch for our special programs and events over the weeks and months to come. We'll provide you with valuable information to help protect your loved ones in an emergency situation. Watch CBS2 and KCAL Online and learn how to stay safe at home. Yeah. How are girls different than boys? Uh, girls like clothes, they dance better than us, and they love unicorns. And boys... Boys like meat. That's why my authentic Philly cheesesteak is now stuffed with even more sliced marinated steak, smothered in melting cheese and grilled onions. And that is how girls and boys are different. What? Val brings him out for round number two, Jose Luis Castillo in the red trunks, crimson black. Very nonchalant and looking about uh, in a very confident manner between rounds. He gets a right hand whoa, 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 shoved up out. against his jaw by Corral, but he really wasn't impressed with Corral, who uh, the shorter of the two men, and I keep repeating myself and shame on me because uh, he's in very tough tonight. But I, think, I think Corral is doing the intelligent thing, he's punching and then grabbing him. They ask him in the, uh, during the, uh, the minute of uh, the Rex State said, uh, you know, how, how does he feel? He said, this guy has nothing. Yeah. That was Castillo speaking. I got a tough looking spin And of course, Castillo, you know, probably going through this is just kind of a routine workout. A little something in the gym. He hasn't fought since he fought Mayweather. And of course, uh, lost to Mayweather a year ago. So. Well, Corral was, uh, he, he says he's in good shape. In fact, he said it was, he was in the best shape of his life. Oh, he was coming after you, <laughs> famous. He was coming after you. Remember three weeks ago, he was yeah. the guy that wanted to knock you right out from under your title as IBF 130-pound champion. 
and he said it, that fighting Carlos would not be any any uh, any easier. He's been working hard in the gym, training hard. He is dedicated uh, to this fight, no matter who was on the other side of the ring, taking some whoa, 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 solid whoa, whoa, shots to the midsection, and you can see the strength of a Castillo who could have almost picked him up by the arms and moved him around. This is a very powerful guy, Castillo. I don't know if he's the quickest of all the Walter Wade's, so when you put it in with a guy that weighs 147 or thereabouts, you know, he's not, not, not a name. People know him, people expect lots more from him, so now they're going to be pressuring him. Oh yes, of course. Yes, here's the former champion, in against the guy who has a record of 12, 4, and 3, and they expect it's good right, night. Let hands go. Bring up. Gustavo. Step out. Well, Gustavo is a dedicated, tough guy, and you have to give him uh, credit climbing in the ring. Anybody who puts on those trunks, puts on those gloves, and gets in the skirt shirt. Definitely. And what what uh what's so funny about him is that like I said he's doing the most intelligent thing. He's trying to punch it and then grab within the reach the field. He got hit with a pretty good shot. He landed a pretty good right-handed jaw of Castillo and Castillo hit him with a left hand that might have been just thrown down in the neighborhood of Sonora. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly south of the border, my friends. Huh? Did I say hello tonight and? Best wishes to all of you fathers who will be celebrating a big day tomorrow. I hope it's a marvelous day for you as you're surrounded by your children. I hope you're taking good care of them. Oh yes, and our friend Chris up in the high desert country. That kind of Captain Buddy and other Great fight fans looking in tonight. Round two is over. Imagine our beaches destroyed forever. Now. CBS2 and KCAL 9 are uniting with Gila Bay in an effort to help you save our beaches. Join Lino Wynn and Ian Ziering for a full hour long special as we examine the problems and find out what you can do to make a difference. Heal the Bay. A special presentation from CBS2 and KCAL 9. Sunday 5 p.m. on KCAL 9. <laughs> Cuando sufro una lesión, yo acudo a mis médicos de confianza. También tú, si te lastimas en el trabajo, busca los médicos adecuados y el tratamiento que mereces. Mi recomendación. Welcome to Alliance. Atención personalizada y consultas en español. Para gente que trabaja duro como tú y como yo. Para una consulta sin costo, llame gratis al 1 633 3100 Bell brings him out for round number three and scheduled for ten. Jose Luis Castillo in the red trunks trimmed in white. And in the black and gold, that's Gustavo Corral. When I check the scorecard with my two men here, we've gone through two rounds. Castillo 20 for round 18, says Fernando Palomo. Would you be surprised if it turned up for Carlos? 28 to 18? Well, Fernando's looking at my scorecard. Let me tell you, well, yes, Fernando would do that a lot, you know. But let me tell you, they're watching the same fight. I can tell you that. I never do that with him. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, were, they were telling me, Corrado, that is the fight plan. He said, uh, you have to take those punches. We see some punches. They, 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 after a uh, rocky type uh, <laughs> style. Well, Corral is kind of damned if you do and damned if you don't. He's got a shorter reach, he's a shorter fighter, and maybe he could get inside to negate the strength, the power, and the obvious reach advantage that the big Castillo has. It's easier said than done to get inside. But of course, well, we have him at long range, he's going to get nailed. Well, we haven't seen it as a uh, Castillo attack. Man, yeah. He's going to be carrying him pretty much. No, I think the man is going through the motion pretty much. Yeah, I think he wants to give him a few rounds. Yes, a little workout. Yeah, he, he's been, like, you know, like he said, he's been inactive for a while. That's a nice workout for him, and I don't think he thinks he's going to get hurt, although he got nailed with a pretty good left hand. You know, for a man who's had as many great fights as Castillo, and a former world champion, if you look at him, he's totally unmarked, isn't he? Yeah, he's not been hurt, he's not been, uh, been cut up. Yeah, not no only that. Oh, he's yep. a big baseball nut. Sue Stratton, our producer director, reminds <laughs> us that he's a big fan of the Mexicali team in the Mexican League and, in fact, sits on the bench, works out, takes batting practice, etc., and says he's there just in case a fight breaks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
And you know who likes to suit up for that? I think he means it. <laughs> of course he does, I'm sure. And his Mexicali teammates are probably saying, way to go, Jose Luis. Well, he's beginning to exchange now with uh, Corral. They're beginning to tee off on one another as best they can. Anybody that is a Mexicali fan is a fan. You're looking at about 130 degrees in the uh, summer. Well, in the winter, it's about 40 with a 40 degree wind. <laughs> it's, uh, whoop. Oh. Left hand chopping one, caught Corral right up alongside the right side of the jaw and down he went. He had hit uh, Castillo with a couple of pretty good punches and now the count is up and Pat Russell says come over here. Are you all right? Corral said yeah, but tell the big guy to quit pounding on me. So here we are in round number three and Castillo seems to have warmed to the task but the bell saves Corral at the end of three rounds will follow Corral back to his corner down for a brief moment that nail hit up alongside the head and down he went how do you feel they ask it did you feel that hard hard well we're gonna see how hard he hit he comes in with the left hook on the top of the head, it wasn't even on the chin. No, you know, that caught him right above the right ear almost, really, yeah. Gentleman nailed him a big shot, and... Yeah, it looked like he got hit right behind the, the, the head there. Yeah. Have you when got... You, yes. When, when you get hit, when you get hit like that, you're gonna go down. I went down in my last fight, which was two weeks ago, from a punch like that. That was the first time my career going down. So I'm sure, I, I know he saw stars. He was able to get up to the count of eight. Yeah. He said, don't, don't give you a safe hit. Don't, don't, don't allow it to you just go in and get hit. So they want him to start boxing, stay away, protect himself, try to get inside, negate the obvious size, punching power, talent, obviously, of Jose Luis Castillo. And Bill, you know, yes. who took uh, five years off, he took five years off to uh, pursue a bachelor degree in, uh, yeah. in business. That's right. Right. That's right. I think he's going to have to return to that. Well, he has something to fall back on. He was quite obvious uh, about that when we spoke with him, that it's an important part of his life. But Teddy, he is a dedicated fighter, and uh, mm -hmm. once upon this is a magnificent opportunity, but it may be one that he's not quite talent-wise capable of doing anything else. Well, again, he has the, uh, just like you say, just getting up to meet a guy that is bigger, that is tougher, more experienced. But is there a point, you're a fighter, is there a point in which you believe that uh, somebody, you know, that you, that you cannot be beaten in any fight, but you start? Yeah, there's there's times where I believe no one can beat me. I, you just have that mentality, and when you go in there, you right, feel like you're the king of the jungle. Well, I think you almost have to have that kind of an attitude, that uh, you're the best when you climb into the ring and get in there because if you go in with fear trepidation and worry about the and other nerves. guys doing this yes. t huh yeah, you might as well stay home with nerves you're going to get sick and and get knocked out stay home with the beautiful veronica i mean forget about that forget about that find another line of work incidentally before uh we get too far along we want to wish you uh, great success in your mandatory no title defense Thank in El Salvador. You. You're that. such Thank a you delightful much. guy and you're a magnificent champion and I know how hard you've worked to get the shot that you had against Santos and to, to win the fight. This now is, the this future is, a, is wide open for you. This is an, an honor for me to sit next to you and Fernando. Well, I, I mean, after many years of watching you guys, yeah. wow, I, I, I'm here sitting next to you guys. Well, you know, I told Fernando, no punching under the table. I said, you can't be taking a cheap shot at the IBF 130-pound champion. He came with a, in with a same mentality. I can do that and better. <laughs> no, I well, after being knocked down in round number three, we're moving along in round four, less than a minute to go. And Corral is uh, taking some solid shots to the body, trying to answer in kind, holding on. And Pat Russell having a busier time separating the two men. Stuck on a left hand of Buck Castillo coming in. There's a left hand. Uh, Castillo lands a solid left. And Corral kind of wild in a return shot. Finds himself missing, and Castillo more often than not Go ahead, let's go. Get that hand Stop. Tough fight Stop. for Gustavo Corral with a tough little guy. Less than 10 seconds remaining in this, the fourth round. It's scheduled for 10. We're back to the pond right after this.
You want the best values in America? Well, they're here now at the Dodge Summer Sales Drive. Where you'll find our best products. Like the Dodge SXTs, Neon, Stratus, and Intrepid. With chicken CD sound and sporty wheels. And our best deals. Get up to $3,000 cash allowance or 0% financing for 60 months on 2003 SXT cars. All with Dodge's 7-year, 70,000-mile powertrain limited warranty. Let us prove we got the best values in America. Hurry to your Dodge dealer today. Another day on Del Taco's making a fresh tour. I stopped by the beach today to promote our new four-item, four-dollar combo meals. Hey, have you heard about our new... Whoa! Look at those! I think they're dolphins! Or maybe porpoises, I'm not really sure! <laughs> Try Del Taco's new four-item, four-dollar combo meals. A selection of different taco and burrito combinations that include our world-famous crinkle-cut fries and a Coke. Four-item, four-dollar combo meals made fresh only at Del Taco. I don't know if you can pick them up. Ty, go over there. All right, over here. here comes the fifth round. A momentary uh, pause to get some ice in the middle of the ring. Jose Luis Castillo knocked his man down in the third round. Has pretty much dictated the terms of this fight, as we certainly thought. For Corral, it is uh, a moment in time, a chance to do something bordering on the impossible. See how my ringside expert Corral is a game guy. He didn't go into heavy training just to sit around. Oh. Nando, down goes Corral again. Got nailed again, and he's down, and he may not be getting up. Count is at six, seven, eight, nine. We can forget about the scorecards in round five. Down and out. Game, but certainly overmatched, overpowered. And uh, Jose Luis Castillo now going over to see about uh, the fallen opponent. Oh, he at the beginning said he has nothing. I think he uh, felt the punch, felt the uh, power. He honestly felt after fighting so many great fighters that he came with just a better time. And I think that he, did, in fact, took his time. Well, we're going to go up and talk to him in just a bit before he leaves the ring. Now, let's take another look as we look at Gustavo. Well, Gustavo was still trying to be in the game. Here he was landing with the left hook. He leaves himself open. Now Castillo was already trying a couple of times. This time he catches him. Down he goes. Didn't look like that of... big a left hand either, Fernando. This guy's got some sock, hasn't he? I think at, the, at this point he got hit in the body right there. And at that point he just honestly felt that, hey, I'm not going to do much against this guy. Oh, well, it's a better left hand than I thought at the first time. Carlos, he's got some smack in that left Definitely, hand. I think that's his uh, signature punch, is the left hook, and uh, that's what landed, and that's what put him out. Yeah. Well, Gustavo, a gallant effort, overmatched as we all knew, except in his heart. He thought he could get it done, the biggest fight of his career. And there's the man who picked up with that victory tonight, his 47th win, his 43rd. KO victory. We'll be back in just a moment. Ford F-Series is America's best seller. Why? More models to choose from. And the F-150 has more available torque and more payload than the competition. But right now, during Ford Centennial Celebration, you'll get 0% for five years on F-150 and Ranger. And Ford will even match your down payment up to $1,000 on the Ranger. It took Ford a hundred years to get here, but you only have a short time to get what could be the deal of the century. In the Battle of Waterloo, the French surrendered. In the Franco-Prussian War, the French surrendered. In World War II, well, the French surrendered. Don't be a big chicken. Eat one. The big charbroiled chicken sandwich. The quarter pound of chicken. It's one of the biggest chicken sandwiches in the world. New at Carl's Jr. Imagine our beaches destroyed forever. Now, CBS2 and KCAL9 are uniting with Hilva Bay in an effort to help you save our beaches. Join Lena Wynn and Ian Ziering for a full hour long special as we examine the problems and find out what you can do to make a difference. Heal the Bay. A special presentation from CBS2 and KCAL9. Sunday at 5 p.m. on KCAL9. El boxeo no es una profesión fácil. 
Cuando sufro una lesión, yo acudo a mis médicos de confianza. También tú, si te lastimas en el trabajo, busca los médicos adecuados y el tratamiento que mereces. Mi recomendación, World Comp Alliance. Atención personalizada y consultas en español. Para gente que trabaja duro como tú y como yo. Para una consulta sin costo, llame gratis al 1 633 3100 White Dodge, live at the Arrowhead Pond, is being brought to you by Dodge. You can take life as it comes, or you can grab life by the horn. Dodge. Welcome back to the beautiful Arrowhead Pond here in Anaheim, California. Home of the mighty ducks, how close they came to winning the big cup. Fight night here on KCAL. Almost as expected, certainly as advertised, by Jose Luis Castillo with a fifth-round knockout over a gallant but outmatched Gustavo Corral. Lupi Contreras has got the official time of the knockout. Lupi, if you will, please. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Pat Russell reaches the count of 10 at 33 seconds of round number five. Your winner by way of knockout, Jose Luis El Tenible Castillo. Well, there you see the former WBC lightweight champion whose record now goes to a gaudy 47 wins, six losses, a draw, and 43 knockouts. He was very impressive, but he was no better than we expected him to be. He'd been out of the ring since his fight with Mayweather. He was in against a guy who was smaller, underpowered as far as Castillo was concerned. Certainly had every bit as much game and heart as the former champion, but he just didn't have the tools to make this biggest night of his career a dream come true. There you see Gustavo Corral. He was a gallant fighter, and the crowd salutes him, but down he goes, and his record now goes to 12 and 5 with three draws. Fernando Paramo stands with the former lightweight champion of the world, Jose Luis Castillo. Let's find out what he thought about the fight and other things. Fernando, if you will. Thank you, Tom. Jose Luis, right at the beginning, right after the uh, first round, you said, this guy has nothing, I can take him very easily. Did you really feel that since the beginning? Al principio de la pelea, del medio de round, dijiste que no, no, no tenía nada, que tú le podías ganar fácil, ¿Tú, ¿sí lo sentiste? Sí, sí lo sentí porque no le sentí su pegada, ¿no? Y lo que queríamos era boxear porque tenía casi seis meses sin pelear desde Mayweather. Y quise boxear, agarró un poquito de distancia y bueno, en el... Quinto, sexto round, no sé ni qué round lo que, pero salió, salió bien. He says that uh, he did in fact felt a punch, didn't feel much there. He wanted to get some uh, rounds to work out. Didn't know uh, what round he knocked him out, but at the end he did knock him out. We're going to take a look at the fight and tell us what is going on the first time that he goes down. La primera caída del cuarto round. Bueno, lo, 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 le pegué en, en la cabeza, no le pegué en la quijada. I was able to hit him in the head, not even in the jaw. Le pegué en la cabeza, se cayó, estaba mal. Eh, afortunadamente su condición lo paró y bueno, pudo proseguir. He was in bad shape at that time, but uh, right after that, fortunately, he uh, what, got up. This is the end of the fight. Tell us about it. Bueno, el fin de la pelea lo 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 estuvo ganando con un con un gancho a a la izquierda de la quijada, ¿no? Y estuvo muy bien conectado que que se cayó de para no levantarse. I was able to hit him uh, the first to the uh, to the liver and then to the jaw, and he was able to. He just went down and didn't get up. Immediately, did you did you know that you had him at that point? Creías que ya lo tenías ahí. Sí, sí, ya lo tenía, desde, no te digo, como del primer round no sentí que pegara, ni que aguantara mucho los rounds, lo que quería era, era boxear, y bueno, me salieron más o menos bien las cosas como teníamos planeado. Yes, I did in fact know I had him since the first round I felt that he had the punch, uh, I wanted to get some work, uh, and uh, I did get the work. Okay, no, so now you have this under your belt, what happens now, there's great fighters there for you, uh, Sambra Mitchell, Constance Sue. Yes, uh, what would you like to go from here? Hay grandes peleadores allá, ganaste ahora claramente, ¿qué es lo que quieres hacer? Bueno, yo quiero buscar una pelea con, con Costa Su, ¿no? Y ojalá y me espere antes de que se vaya a peso Welter. Yeah, I would like to fight Costa Su, and hopefully he will wait for me before he goes to Welter. But you, you have a big body, you can also do a, a fight on the Welter way. Tienes que es grande el cuerpo, también puedes pelear como Welter. Sí, sí, tengo, tengo bastante cuerpo, estaba embarneciendo, ¿no? Pero de momento no vamos a quedar en, en Welter Junior. Yes, he says I do have a big body, but I still want, want to stay at 140 from now on. Well, congratulations, great victory. Felicidades, gran victoria. Gracias, gracias. Un saludo a toda la gente de México y de Sonora aquí en, en Los Ángeles. Okay, that's it. Back to you, Tom. Okay, Fernando, our congratulations to Jose Luis Castillo, who with this left hand, watch it, is about to dispatch Gustavo at left. What a corking good shot. And down went the challenger, Corral, who goes down in the fifth round. Down for the second time, he's gone down in the third, down in the fifth, and a nice, nice work 
for the former WBC lightweight champ. We'll be back. Here